Welcome to MathsMaster.org. In this lesson we're going to look at column addition of decimal numbers. So here's two decimal numbers, 5.2 and 3.7. We're going to add them together. The main thing that you have to remember when you're doing column addition with decimal numbers is that you have to line the decimal points up above each other. So have a look at how we laid out the sum here. 5.2 add 3.7. You line the decimal points up. Once you've done that, Everything else lines itself up really nicely. The units digits, the 5 in the 5.2 and the 3 in the 3.7, they line themselves up nicely, as do the tenths digits, the 2 and the 7, as shown. So the main point to remember is line up the decimal, di decimal point. Everything else follows. OK. Then you simply add up each column. 2 add 7 is 9, so we write the 9 down there. Then the decimal points are next. Make sure that you bring that down there and put your decimal point down there. And then 5 add 3 in this column is 8. So the answer is 8.9. Right, let's look at another one now. You'll notice that two of these numbers have uh, two digits after the decimal point, whereas the 3.225 obviously has three digits after the decimal point. It's more important than ever that you follow this main rule. Line the decimal points up as shown in a vertical line like you can see there, and then it's easy. Let's have a look. In the thousandths column, the column on the right hand side here, you can see that the total of that is just five, so we put the five down there. Okay, working our way across, we'd now do uh, the next column. We add it up, 3, add 1 is 4, add the 2 is 6. Next column, 4, add 3 is 7, add the 2 is 9. Next up, we've got decimal points, so we need to make sure we put the decimal point down there. And finally, add up the units column. 1, add 2 is 3. Add 3 is 6. So there's our answer. Our answer is 6.965. OK. Sometimes you have to do what's called carrying. This is OK. It's nice and easy, but watch carefully what I do. We're going to add 5.56 to 3.37. Same rule, line up the decimal points as shown and then start on the right hand column with adding up. 6 add 7 is 13. So with the 13 what you do is you put the 3 here but the 1 of the 13 you put down here. We call it carrying the 1. Now add up the next column. 5 add 3 is 8, but we also need to add on the 1 that we carried. So the total of that column is 9. Next column we've got the decimal point, so bring that down there. And finally, the last column, 5 add 3, is 8. So our answer is 8.93. finish off, we're going to look at one that's a little bit trickier, but once again the same rules still apply. Line up the decimal points and then all the numbers next to it line themselves up nicely like this. Okay, start from the right. The right hand column is 2 add 8 is 10. So with the 10 we put the 0 there and we put the 1 down here. We carry the 1 of the 10 down there. Next up, 5 add 4 is 9. Add 3 is 12. But we also need to add on the 1 that we carried makes 13. So we put the 3 there and carry the 1 of the 13 there. Next column, 4 add 7 is 11. Add the 3 is 14, and add on the 1 that we carried makes 15. 
put the 5 in there and carry the 1 to the bottom of the next column. We now got to the decimal point, so make sure that you put the decimal point in there. Right, the units column. 3 add 9 is 12. Add 9 is 21. And add on the 1 we carried is 22. So we put the 2 there, and we carry the 2 of the 22 to the bottom of the next column. And finally, add up the tens digits, this column on the left, we have 2, add the 2 that we carried is 4. So our answer is 42.5. Three zero or forty two point five three. That was column addition of decimal numbers. If you'd like to see more great maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.